I think dance has this ability in a moment to break down barriers between people and create a sense of community. That's very much what we crave, what we need right now, and dance can do that almost magically, almost in an instant. No matter what age you are, what kind of ability you have, you can dance, it's in you, it's in every human being. And there's something really special about how dance engages the mind, engages the body, but also promotes togetherness. So many people think of the school as purely a place where people learn professional ballet, so it's for a very small niche group of people. But in fact, it's always been an important part of the school to ensure that dance is accessible to as many people as possible. The community programs at Canada's National Ballet School are driven with the same energy and focus and clarity of purpose. And I think where that starts is meeting a person where they are. So when we have kids and we go and meet them in a public school, we want to find out about them. We want to learn about them. We want to learn about their needs. And that's how our programs grow, is really by connecting with our audiences. We have always built them in mind, knowing that they're based off of research. For our Parkinson's program, that's a perfect example. There's a lot of research and evidence-based information which actually improves those dance programs in the future. As long as we can provide those tools and resources for people to access them, that they can enjoy the benefits of dance. The opportunities we have now to connect with people through digital technologies. We're exploring how we can stream our NBS presence into community centers and care homes and long-term care facilities across the country. And it's those meaningful digital touch points that are allowing us to grow our programs and to have them go from coast to coast. So really representing what it means to be Canada's National Ballet School. Ten years ago, for the school's 50th anniversary, we created a flash mob. We had 300 people in our community programs learn a fun piece of accessible choreography and then perform it. That was the light bulb moment that had us thinking that we could actually bring dance to communities all over Canada. And each year we select a choreographer, uh, someone who's used to working in a professional space, who works at the highest level of dance, to create something that's specific to our Canadian community. For over 20 years, MBS has had a priority around bringing dance to communities, but it was about 10 years ago where we really began to develop programs to be able to do it at a scale that was really exciting. In those very early days, we needed someone with vision to step up and provide us the support we needed to get started. And I remember going to Joan and Jerry at the very beginning and telling them about how significant this could be for the school, how important this could be for our future. And they gave us the seed money to become the founding donors of all of the sharing dance initiatives that the school had launched at that time. They didn't stop there. They continued to support the funding annually and at an increasing basis. And as we talked about their legacy at the school, they were interested to attach their name to a program that would have a huge impact on the school's future and it would really align with their values and what they cared about. I see children trying new things, exploring their creativity, expressing themselves in new ways. I see seniors who can recapture a sense of grace, elegance in their movement. And the gift that the Lazinskis have provided is allowing us to do that for more and more people. The Lazinskis' gift to ensure the evolution of dance in the community is magical. It's going to give the school wings long into the future and enhance the quality of life for generations of Canadians and inspire other organizations to take these same steps in their own communities.